Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. The table gives the coordinates of two points on a line in the xy plane. The y intercept of the line is k negative 5, comma b, where k and b are constants. What is the value of b? So here the point k negative 5, comma b uh, represents y intercept. Since this point represents a y intercept, uh, the x coordinate over here must be 0. That is k negative 5 must be equal to 0. So because this is a point uh, which represents y intercept. So if a point represents y intercept, the x coordinate is always 0 in that point. So in our point, the x coordinate is k negative 5 and it must be 0. Okay, now, now let's solve for k in this equation. For that, I have to add 5 to both sides. When I add 5 to both sides, this negative 5, positive 5 will cancel out. I am getting k equals to 5. Okay, here in the table, let's replace uh, k by 5. So if I replace k by 5, so I'm just getting 5 over here. So in this expression, k positive 7, if I replace this k by 5, then it become 5 positive 7, then the x one it will become 12. So now we have, uh, for x, we have 5 and 12. And uh, for y, we have the same value, so 13, negative 5. Okay, so from the first pair, we get the point 5, comma 13. And uh, from the second pair over here, we get the second point that is 12, comma negative 15. Okay, now let's uh, find the equation of the line in slope intercept form. Okay, usually to get the equation of a line in slope intercept form, so we will be writing y on the left side. On the right side, we will multiply x by the slope of the line. Usually we consider uh, the letter m as slope. So we have to multiply x by the slope of the line m. Positive. We need to add some constant over here. What constant should be added over here? So the constant uh, we had over here must be the y coordinate at the y-intercept. So in the given point, what is the y coordinate at the y intercept? It's b. So this b is the y coordinate at the y intercept. So this b should be taken over here as a constant. So this is the equation of a line in slope intercept form. In this equation, we have to find the value of b. So that represents the y coordinate at the y intercept. According to the question, we have to find the value of b. Okay, so to get the value of b, first we have to be knowing the slope m. Okay, so we have two points on the line. So when we know the two points on a line, and there is a formula to find uh, the slope of a line, that is m is equal to uh, y2 negative y1 over x2 negative x1. And the two points on the line have to be considered as x1 comma y1. I mean the first point should be considered as x1 y1, and the second point should be considered as x2 comma y2. Okay, now uh, in this slope formula, we have to plug in, uh, negative 15 uh, for y2 and uh, negative and for y1 we have 13 and for x2 we have 12 negative for x1 we have 5 okay so m is equal to when i combine negative 15 and negative 13 i'm getting negative 28 so when i combine uh, this one i'm getting 7 7 goes into 7 one time 7 goes into 28 or four times so m is equal to negative 4 so now i got the slope of the line which is negative 4 so now we can plug in negative 4 for this m over here so y is equal to negative 4x positive b. So according to the question, uh, we have to find the value of b. So to get the value of b, we have to plug in one of these two points uh, into this equation. So for example, if I'm going to plug in the first point 5 comma 13 into this equation, I have to plug in this 13 for uh, y, I mean the y point 13 for y, and I have to plug in the exponent 5 for this x. So we get 13 equals to negative 4 times uh, 5 positive b. Okay, so we get 13 is equal to negative 4 times 5 will become negative 20, positive b. So to solve for b, I have to add 20 to both sides. When I add 20 to both sides, it's negative 20, positive 20 will cancel out. When I combine this 13 and positive 20, I'm getting 33. So I got the value of b. So the value of b is 33.